Sam, tell me again why we didn't wait till dark to come to the cornmaze. Man, you know how Katie's just really scared of these type of things. It's the only way I could get her to go and not mess it on another Halloween. This place doesn't look safe at all. Why do the guys think this is fun? Yeah, the links our boyfriends go through to scare us always just amazes me. It's like hearing a scream increases their testosterone level. Yeah, I've heard when you're scared, your body releases adrenaline, and that adrenaline is everything's yet. So in other words, the more scared you get, the more horny you get. Aha, we finally uncovered the master plan. <laughs> You mean, she's too chicken to go at night, and that's what we're doing here right now? Yeah. Great. Now we're going to have to deal with all the pussies and pansies. I mean, this really going to tone down the scare factor. I don't know, man. It's the only one I could find that was open during the day. I haven't even heard of this one. Is it new? I think it is. I've never heard of it before, either. Cool. It'll be one of the first ones to go through. As long as it's like, not like the one last year. That one really blew. I'm sure it's cool. Look at all the other cars that are here. Yeah, well, there's no people out here. And if there's no people, that means they're out in the corn. I don't hear any screaming. It must suck. Brian, quit being a pain in the ass and let's go check it out. Yeah, I'm really surprised you didn't actually see you today, Katie. I never thought you'd come any place that had horror in its name. The only reason I came was to spend time with Mark. Uh-huh, so we talked to you instead. More like twisted her arm. No, I came on my own free will. I know how much he loves Halloween and horror movies, and I just wanted to be able to share all this with him. I want to be in every aspect of his life just like he is with mine. It would be hard not sharing the same interests. I'm glad Sam and I like the same stuff. We are really glad you came this year, Katie, to be honest with us. Yeah, so let's go have some fun. Let our boyfriends be macho protectors. Deal? Deal. Deal. I just feel silly being scared all the time, especially seeing how Mark isn't afraid of anything since he had that accident when he was a kid and got that scar. Maybe if I got in a horrible accident, I'd lose my fright. Maybe all you need is a shot of whiskey and a kick in the ass. Hello, welcome to the Scarecrow Cemetery and the Corn Maze of Terror. Come closer, closer still, I'm going to tell you a story. Back in the days of the Civil War, this field was a great battlefield. Many soldiers lost their lives. The blood ran into the soil and stained it with great evil. Ever since then, these fields have been home to mysterious happenings. Cattle raised here never lived past their first year, and children have been lost playing in these rows, never to be seen again. Sometimes these crops just shrivel up and die for no apparent reason at all. 
So step right up and get your tickets for this one time special price. Two for ten dollars. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Don't be afraid, my child. The end is closer than you think. I hope you're talking about the end of the maze. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. The soldiers who were left alive here after these battles were tortured into telling the whereabouts of the enemy armies. They were then blindfolded and led through these rows. They were tied to wooden stakes and left to bake in the hot sun. The crows eating out their eyes for their only company. So now we will blindfold you and lead you to the center of the maze so that you will know the fate of the soldiers. Be all right. Take your blindfold off until you get inside the hole. All right. Steph, are you? You're being watched. You didn't make them unhappy. No. Don't take off your blindfolds until you hear the sound of the horn. Take off your blindfolds till you hear the sound of the horn. It's gonna be fun. This better be better than last year.
Come on, come on. Come on. She's got to be in the house. held up my end of the bar again and I've done what you've asked. Let them go. More have come. Uh. Ah! Ah! 